next day and do my hair because for some reason I was just sad. Like I woke up at eight o'clock and I'm like, baby, just go back to sleep. So I go back up at ten o'clock and by ten o'clock you feel like the day is almost over. So I pretty much just chillaxed and then I took another nap, was turned into sleep. So I pretty much slept all uh, yesterday, which is fine because I feel like I needed that energy. I needed to recharge or whatever because I went to the mall and all this other stuff. So they had me to have, and then I knew that I needed my energy to get everything done that I'm trying to do today, which is uh, reconstruct this wig. This is a wig that I got from Amazon. I done had this for a year now, y'all. And like it's it, it still has held up. It's good quality here, very soft. As you can see, I can run my fingers through it and it's not like tangled up or nothing like that. But like I said, I've been here for almost a year, so I'm ready to change it somehow. So I'm going to do a blonde cut bob and try to uh, bleach it, put some highlights in it. We're going to see how that's going to go. And then um, if y'all want to see the results today, I don't know if I'm going to show it at the end of this video. I probably am. But if y'all want to see like the whole process, I'm not going to edit it into this video because as I make this video a little bit too long, I'm just going to do the process of me installing the wig. But if y'all want to see the process or whatever, please follow me on Instagram or follow me on TikTok. Both of my names on Instagram and TikTok is Portia.Marie underscore. Again, that is P-O-R-S-H-A dot Marie, M-A-R-I-E underscore. Um, you can follow me on TikTok and Instagram and you'll be able to see the transition video with this wig. Anywho, I needed to save my energy for making this wig. Also doing this content, which I'm doing with y'all, which actually takes up more energy than y'all think. Um, sitting here talking to y'all for a while and y'all only see bits and pieces. Like, these videos be way longer than what y'all think or what y'all actually see. So, it does take a lot of energy being also editing, but I do all my editing in one day. Like, I set aside a day to do all my editing, and that's the only thing that I do because recording and then turning around and editing is exhausting. That's too much. No. And then, I'm also finishing working on a couple outfits that I have because I'm going to do a photo shoot. Um, I haven't done any photo shoots in a while, and I also haven't produced any designs that I've made in a while either. Um, so, I, I want to present myself to the world, show y'all what I got this new. I'm going to do a photo shoot, but like, yeah, I got to finish these clothes. So, I got that to do, and then I also have a Zoom call, which is an hour and a half long. Uh, and if I'm honest, I don't want to sit through it because it's that long. Like, I'm able to go to meetings and retain information, all the other stuff, but just sitting for an hour, and it's not like I'm, you know, we exchanging well, we, I don't know what it's going to be like. Maybe we will be talking back and forth to each other. But in my mind, I feel like it's just going to be me looking at slideshows and just listening to them talk. Which is close to, like, being in a lecture hall or something like that. And that's boring. But not not going to complain because it's for good it's for good reasons. And it's going to benefit me in the long run. So it is what it is. But, yeah, that's what I got going on today. Finna go off camera, do this wig, and once I'm done dyeing it or bleaching it and whatever and whatnot, and I'm ready to install, I'm gonna come back on camera. So see y'all in a second, okay? Okay, y'all. So I started out by oiling my scalp. Making sure that it is not dry while I put this wig on. You know, please don't mind my face. <laughs> then I'm slicking back my edges with this invisible gas to be um gel and that's just because the yellow one will show up white and flaky this black one is clear so i like that one and you see me with the blow dryer just pushing it back i'm not sure why stylists do this because i'm not a stylist but i'm assuming that they do it to protect their edges you know when you let it glue down it's not on your actual hairline and then you see me get ready to do my ball um cap method I sprayed it with the gas to be spray and I'm just going around my perimeter and then I'm gonna blow dry. Now you're gonna see me just cutting around the perimeter of the cap, removing the excess 
so we can get ready to put this wig on. And as y'all doing this, y'all, please, please be careful. Make sure that you don't cut your forehead because we do not need that, okay? I made sure to use three layers of guys to be just so that my wig do not come up anytime soon. This part of the video is slowed down so that I can introduce today's topic, which is how I got started on my spiritual journey. If you are here for the tutorial, please just pay attention to detail and bear with me. So June of 2019, I was in a domestic violence relationship. I was in dead end connections. And it really just got me to thinking, what do I want to do with myself? Where do I see myself in the next couple of years? How did I get to this point? Just a whole bunch of questions that I decided to ask myself. This led me to doing shadow work healing, which is pretty much digging into the toxic side or the dark side of who you are. This caused me to have to relive my childhood, which can be very traumatic in the beginning, but worth it in the end. One of the things that I found while doing my shadow work healing is that I am a people pleaser. And this stemmed from my childhood. Me and I wanted to get in trouble. Me wanting people to like me and me wanting to be loved led me to do any and everything that people asked me to. And that left me open to being taken advantage of and manipulated, which is part of the reason why I was in the connections and the relationship that I was in. If you would like to learn more about shadow work healing, I do have content on my channel, um, some long form as well as short form videos that you can check out. Or if you would like me to do an updated shadow work healing video, I will do that as well. Please just let me know in the comments below. Shadow work healing allowed me to acknowledge the strengths and the weaknesses that I have and also take accountability for the things that I've been through because ultimately we all have free will and in a lot of instances I stayed in connections and relationships when I seen the red flags but again I just wanted to be loved with that in mind please be aware that shadow work healing is not easy and it is not for the weak you have your moments where you break down you want to cry you want to give up but i ask you and i beg you please 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 do not give up because it's worth it in the other in the end after this rigorous process it seemed as if the universe was pretty much saying okay now it's time to practice what you preach so I was in multiple tests to test what level I was at and also test my strengths to see if I really was ready to move up in life and do better things with myself. Again, this is not easy because this is something that I am new to. However, like I said before, it is all worth it in the end. It just, it evolves you. I did forget to mention that while all of this was going on, I pretty much was in hermit mode. And hermit mode means to be isolated to yourself for the purpose of learning, growing, and educating yourself. So of course, I cut off the toxic relationship. I let go of dead weight or dead end situations and friendships that I had and any other connection that I felt like no longer served me and my higher self. One of the greatest challenges with this was being alone, which wasn't too bad for me because I was only child for seven years, seven years and 11 months to be exact. So I was able and okay with being by myself because I was used to being by myself as a child. This is not the case for everyone. So I do suggest that you have a support system, people who understand you and support your growth and want you to shine. Unfortunately, everyone does not have this as well. But the purpose of being alone is so that you can truly grow and rid yourself of distractions. There is also this thing where you don't want to connect to others' energy because little do you know, being around a person, you can connect to their energy. And that can confuse your spirit and make you believe their energy is you. If you go around a person and instantly get sad or angry, know that they are an energy link. That is a gem for you. Okay, so a quick recap. I had my spiritual awakening, which is when I asked myself all those questions. What do I want to do? Where do I want to be? Who am I? This and that. 
Then too, I went into hermit mode and I did my shadow work healing. From that point, I decided to take action, which included cutting off all toxic connections, relationships, and unhealthy habits. Well, at least almost all unhealthy. From that point, God, spirit, source, whoever you want to say, put me to the test to see what level I was on spiritually. Did I pass every test with flying colors? No, I did not. Because again, this is something that's new to me, but that's okay. You have to allow yourself room in order to mess up because it's in your mistakes and the action that you take where you learn the most. Speaking of God, I will say that being on my spiritual journey pushed me closer and wanted to have a closer connection to God. So after learning my flaws and my belief system, I had to unlearn that same thing as well and relearn what my new belief system would be. Ultimately, I had to relearn what my worth was, who I believe myself to be and how I wanted to be, see, be perceived by others. Some techniques and practices that helped with me unlearning it and relearn it, and also coping with the stress of spirituality, um, relearning who you are and all these other things, were doing meditation, journaling in my diary, listening to spiritual and vibration music, doing things that I enjoy and love, such as dancing around the house, listening to music, binge watching shows, cooking, and all these other things. And then lastly, which is my favorite thing to do, educating myself, always being a student. Because in life, we honestly don't know everything. I mean, you can see things from your perspective, but a person can see it from a different perspective. And honestly, we can all learn from each other viewpoints and interests in their life. I also like going on walks. When I had my own apartment in Chicago, on the north side of Chicago, I stayed very close to the beach. So in the morning time, I would go for a jog to the beach, sit down, listen to the water waves, different stuff like that. Things that really calmed my spirit and made me happy. Honestly, everyone's spiritual journey is different. It's all about what you make it. So don't let no one tell you what to do. Well, this tutorial is coming to the end. So I'm gonna leave you with this. The greatest superpower that you possess is love. Learn to love yourself as well as others, even people who don't love you back. Because in the end, love always wins over hatred. The second thing I want to leave you with is to be understanding to everyone's situation and circumstances. Not everyone is on this journey that you're on, and that's okay. Don't judge people. Just wish them well, pray for their growth, and continue on your journey. With that in mind, the third thing is you cannot save everyone and everyone cannot come along with you on this journey. People can unconsciously be dead weight and hold you back in life and you don't want that. And my fourth and final tip is simply to enjoy. You won't get everything right on the first try and that's okay. The important thing is that you tried. Well, thank you for watching my channel. If you are new and if you have not hit that subscribe button already, please do so. Let's give this video a thumbs up if you found anything that was useful because we want to get this information out to others, people who are experiencing the same thing that we are and are and is ready to grow as well. I love y'all and I will see you in the next video. Ciao.